Hey guys, Jan here in the North View Model Shop, and as recent videos I've seen, it's got me a little inspired to dig out a really old kit we worked on many, many moons ago and never finished. And it is obviously, as you can see, is the Revell B29 Super Fortress. Um, as you guys may remember from some of the old videos, um, this was kind of like our holy grail kit. Um, backstory, uh, when I was a real little kid, I was probably seven or eight or so, uh, the local airport, they had a, a, a fly-in, an air show. You know, we're not very big, you know, it was a couple hundred people were there, right? Anyway, one of the hangars there, um, they pushed the planes out and they had set up a, a hobby show, if you will. Um, there was a scale model show there. I don't know if it was a contest, no, it might have just displayed, but right at the mouth of the hangar, because they needed the room, was a B-29, and it was set up, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it was this kit, if I remember correctly, but then the guy had scratch built all the scaffolding and cranes and he had a crew when they were actually doing a motor change uh, in this display and it was really cool and it's, it's I thought it was the coolest thing in the world and um, five minutes later I was distracted and forgot about it until I got into the modeling and then uh, you know the goal was save money between kids and stuff like that and buy this kit because this kit to me was relatively expensive at $50. Uh, which is just crazy now because I just unload money like crazy on models and $50 is nothing now, which is scary. But anyway, um, so we picked this kit up. We were all going home. We started it. The sheer size was just insane. Um, and then it kind of started scaring us off because um, what we were looking to do here was we wanted to kind of like a show winning model, which is not reasonable for us. But um, what our goal was, was to use the, I believe this is the color here, yeah, Alkalide Dell Aluminum. And the problem with that stuff is it shows everything. So it was really just, you had to be really good on your cleanup. And what was scaring us was obviously where we cut the, the fuselage off the spruce. We had these hits here, right? And that was kind of scaring us. And uh, so we kind of parked the model. We taped it together and played with it a little bit with the kids. And then we, uh, we put away. But we did some airbrushing in the Bombay area and got all the uh, cockpit colors done. And, um, kind of went from there with it right and then we kind of did get we kind of were scared off a little bit and we got back into it and then we realized we were missing one of the Bombay doors so Revell very quickly sent us another uh, another door which was cool and we did a video on that with great success and you know we kept I guess we got back into it we got the the flight deck almost finished um, I got a one stick I got to put back in and another stick I guess I got to find and then that's, I think, almost ready to go back together. And it's really sad because the kit builds really, really well. There's a full line of photo etch available from Edward to go into that. But once you put it all together, all you have is this little, this little windshield here, windscreen here, and this dome in the very, very front of it that you get to see everything. So it's kind of like it's almost hidden. The other thing scared to was painting these. We really, really weren't very good at painting um, painting these windows, but there is a photo etch, or I think Edward, with her photo etch big headset, sells the vinyl um, stickers to put over that so you can mask it that way. So, a lot of things scared us off, uh, but we love this kit so much that we kind of want to get back into it. Um, the one thing I did do that I guess was probably smart was when I mixed the colors for the, uh, for the interiors and stuff, this kind of this chromite kind of color. We um, we wrote everything down very specifically to what we'd done. So we got that all nailed out. But uh, anyway guys, it's been, a, it's been a long time. We probably should maybe lean back into this one. What kind of has got us interested again is playing with power, slamming in some little, uh, little, um, little motors into each one of the engine pods gluing these nice propellers here to uh, the end of them, running power supply and, and spinning this thing up because there's lots of room internally in, say, the bomb bay to hide a battery pack and wires and stuff, right? Run your wires through the wing roots. I think we can pull it off, um, but we'll see. Time will tell, see what we can do. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Just a stroll down memory rain on a rainy night.